Hey everyone, it's me, Donna. I've decided that I, uh, every once in a while, when I get ideas for uh, new TV shows or revamps of old TV shows or mixes of revamps of TV shows or whatever, I thought I would just share them in videos. Uh, I think it'd be kind of neat, you know, just to, <clears throat> you know, give my ideas on it and maybe even share it with uh, networks out there uh, to maybe kind of, you know, get things rolling with, with uh, you know, television and everything. Because uh, I think in a lot of areas there's like a big stagnation. Uh, and I've also noticed that there's been like a lot of revamping here lately with TV shows and everything. Um, so this kind of, you know, got the ball rolling in my head for some ideas. For this first video, I have some ideas concerning the, uh, which I'm sure many of you know about the TV show from the late 80s, early 90s called In the, in the Heat of the Night. Um, it was based off an old film back in the, I think it was 60s, something like that, and a novel and all that type of thing. Uh, but in the 80s TV series, the, uh, Carol O'Connor played uh, William Gillespie, the police chief of a small town uh, in Mississippi, uh, a fictional town called Sparta, Mississippi. And it had, uh, you know, basically it was formed around the police station and dealing with all kinds of things of that time, uh, such as, you know, drugs, uh, murder, uh, racism, uh, you know, all kinds of different subject matters, you know, of the time frame. Well... I got to thinking, which I know a few of the characters ha are deceased, or shall I say a few of the actors, not characters, but the actors are deceased. Uh, Carol O'Connor's deceased. Uh, his son is deceased, uh, who also played one of the uh, uh, police officers in the show. Um, the one that played... Uh, Officer Tibbs, he's deceased. Uh, so, you know, there's there's a few of the, the actors that have died. So, I know that the actual, uh, I guess what you say, the meat of the show can't really be saved, uh, if you think about it that way. But, I got this idea to make some of the characters... Uh, such as the character that played um, Bubba Skinner, uh, his character, and then the one that played uh, Police Officer Sweet. Those two characters, it would be neat if either uh, the premise could make them to where either they both got a job in, say, Seattle, Washington, or somewhere in Washington, in one of the bigger cities, um, and they move from Sparta to there, and there's, like, some communication uh, back and forth between uh, uh, the people at Sparta, Mississippi, and Washington State, um, to where they kind of help each other out. Maybe they go back and forth to visit. Uh, or it can be the opposite way. Like maybe years ago, the both of them got um, uh, promoted to a job in Washington and then they come back. But personally, I think it would work better if they have been promoted. Say like, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago, they got promoted in wa both of them got promoted into Washington State, and they communicate back and forth between Washington State and Mississippi, and even bring back some, you know, some of the other characters from In the Heat of the Night, uh, uh, you know, to kind of be the people that they communicate and everything back in Mississippi. I think that would make it interesting, uh, but most importantly, it's, in Washington, if it is based in Washington, I would like for it to be based around Indian reservations, uh, you know, 
areas of that nature to where it it can bring out positive aspects because I would like to see more TV shows that involve Native Americans um, but also deal with troubles that they're having influent bad influences that are trying to come in and maybe uh, destroy the the uh, the reservations uh, things that they're trying to keep out ways that they're trying to save the tribes and uh, work but work together with uh, the community law enforcement it's like have you know both cooperation with uh, law enforcement as well as you know uh, maybe dissent and um, I don't know uh, despisement if there is such a word <laughs> or um, uh, maybe a little un in, uh, distrust in some aspects with some reservations maybe towards uh, the outside world uh, you know kind of a play upon all of it both the positive as well as the negative um, you know the good and bad not something that just makes uh, you know Native Americans look bad I want something that uh, shines a positive light on them you know more importantly um, I personally would like to see Elaine Miles play in in this show. I think uh, she could be like a really good character. Like if they go to live in uh, Washington, I think she would be like a really good asset to this show. Uh, I would love to see that. I think that would be so cool. Um, she may not agree. <laughs> I'm sorry for bringing, for bringing her name up. If she's like, oh my God, I can't, I can't believe this. But, um, but I just, I like her. I like her acting on Northern Exposure. I'm sure, uh, quite a few of you guys out there remember that TV show. Um, I would just like to see her kind of brings a little bit of that to this show. Uh, I think it'd be neat to kind of see her and, uh, uh, Alan Aldry kind of uh, uh, you know play back and forth a little bit with that and maybe even bring some of the characters from Northern Exposure into this I think that would be neat uh, I would like to see that happen kind of you know it'd be kind of like a, a mix or a, you know a mash of, of uh, two different TV shows from that time era you know, kind of be mashed together in this, but yet, you know, have it be a different location, such as Washington, um, where, you know, there's quite a bit of, of uh, you know, Native American tribes within that area. Um, I, I just really think that this could be turned into a really good show, uh, and I would love to see it. Uh, even, let's just say, if they brought the characters back to Mississippi bring her back to Mississippi and have her see how you know everything goes or if they're just visiting uh, I, I just think I don't know I just feel like it would just be cool but I but personally I would prefer the premises be them in Washington State I just for some reason I just feel like there's more there's more um, material there to work with uh, that could really bring it out um, but yet still like I said have that interaction between them and Mississippi going on maybe even kind of on the down low like maybe a case comes up and maybe somehow or another it has uh, a connection to Mississippi you know somehow or another and maybe they can like you know call each other up and you know and vice versa and call each other up and say hey um you know, can you help me with this case a little bit or whatever? I mean, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it would, it would be like a really good TV show. You know, you get enough good writers involved uh, who can really dig and dive into that. I, I just feel like it would be a good TV show. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that that I had that I'm onto a good idea here? If so, let me know. Thank you. Bye.